Okay, so where are we at with the uh, that frenzy? Um, okay, yeah, I guess um, I need the, a little blurb from you so that when the team enters, they get that. Okay. <clears throat> like a welcome to the first test or I don't know, whatever you want to, however you want to frame it, you know? Okay. Um, let me just think here, what do I have left to do here? Supports. Yeah, I guess the, it's it's mostly finished, but I have to create the other part of it where facilitators and members can log in as themselves. Right. Um, and yeah, so I'll I'll have it done today for sure. Um, in like the next few hours, I'll finish everything. Um, for this test tomorrow. But I, but I'll still need to do a bit more work before it's basically like 100% ready for the all the teams to jump in, okay. because we have to think of a way, or I guess I can just build a, build a little facilitators backend so that um, each of the facilitators of each group can add all the people with their emails and pictures. Yeah. And that way we don't have to do all that. So what we would still have to do, uh, oh, I guess I could just build it all so whoever will we'll pick one person or two people on the Lysiel foundation team yeah. to be like the moderators of the whole thing. And they, they can give out the uh, facilitator roles to the facilitators on each group. Yeah. And the facilitators, when they log in, they can give out the memberships to all, all their people. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, because if we can do that 12-12, then that's basically we get the infrastructure to build the shared knowledge community. So. This is huge in terms of just the numbering and how we organize it. <clears throat> so, yeah. But you'll have enough for the test? Uh, yeah, I'll definitely have enough for the test. I'm going to work on it right now. And um, yeah, like the chat room itself is finished. Okay. Did I, I just, see? or sorry. Did you, the support thing? Yeah, the support thing is the very last thing. So, and it'll take me like 20 minutes. Um, what I'm thinking, see, I, yeah, I was just thinking about it a lot yesterday. How that, That's why I took a break from finishing that piece because I want to make sure that it makes sense. So I'm thinking like, for instance, if there are, oh, am, I make, am I the host again? Yeah. Okay. Um, for instance, if, if there is 12 people in the group, um, <clears throat> and one person posts something, right? Um, oh, it won't show up because I'm, I'm the person that, but basically, yeah. So normally, so yeah, anyway, one thing I did is made the messages from me like the messages from the person that's using the chat room look different than everyone else's messages. So you can obviously tell who's, whose messages you are. Right. Um, so <clears throat> the other people will have the support button here on the right. And because say if there's 12 people in the chat, one person posted, that means there's 11 people left that can support it or not. And I'm thinking the threshold for like having a, a, a thought completely supported could be something like four out of 11 people. Mm. But I'm also thinking that the best best solution to this would be to have that, uh, have a bit of a slider in the facilitators setup thing so they can set up like, oh, you know, mission step three, we want people to really agree on stuff. So we want it to be like eight out of 11. Right. But mission step one is just like people are brainstorming, how about three out of 11? So I think that makes sense to do yeah, that. No, if you could do that, that would be strong. I would be very yeah. And the other thing that I want to do, I don't have to do it for, for this, but because I'm taking the support stuff and some of what I'm doing here for my think tank, right? Some of the ideas. One of the big things that made my think tank different is anonymous thinking. Mm. So you'll see the messages and the people on the left and the right 
but who posts the messages you don't know who it is you all you only know your messages and the the point of that is that now it's there's no favoritism there's no oh i love i love george and i'll i'll just support george because he's my friend or because i think he's cool or whatever mm. and so that's another option that we can use and perhaps again the best way to do that is to put a checkbox in in the facilitators thing so they can decide oh you know um in I, this particular mission I, step we really want to make sure that people don't do that i love that and being able to switch everything to anonymous where we don't know who's talking and who's supporting or both yeah i think it's good because then yeah especially if we go out to something other than the cl and because the, there's two ways we can use this thing right one is other organizations other companies you know they can use it but the the other way is just a one big public platform and definitely that needs the anonymous stuff because otherwise yeah it just becomes a popularity contest and a bunch of emojis and all that crap okay um are there two things you're gonna have the upload button and a save as button uh no so the, the save as button um yeah what i'm thinking about that is after the 60 minutes counts down yeah um the, the chat room kind of freezes basically uh the members can scroll up and down and look at what people said and they can see the supported messages on the bottom um but for the facilitator when that when that thing ends uh, they'll, they'll be able to, um, basically like go to the next page and they'll see, uh, some sort of summary where it's like, uh, you know, 250 messages in total, 15 reports, uh, they'll see the, all the people's points in, in order and the group points and stuff. And there'll also be a, a save button there where they can save the conversation itself. Okay. okay. And so, yeah, because all of the thoughts are being recorded to the database uh like all the messages um so when they click the save as button all, I, all it'll do is it'll gather up all, all the messages and uh you know however we want to display it is up to us it doesn't have to show it like this either well i think it would be nice to have like a script or like a you know just basically a pdf with the conversation like with maybe yeah. like members at the top and then yeah, so just like every single thing that anyone said in the well, same order like, that it was. Yeah, done. like the whole thing and just have like, let's say the, the date, the facilitator, uh, let's say the the objective, um, maybe the team members, and then the whole thing, and then it's saved as a PDF. Yeah, um, I will try to get that finished today, but that part might take a little bit longer. But yeah um yeah okay that makes sense if you yeah. had an extra day could you get everything done um well i think here yeah but it would help probably but i don't want you to just keep delaying these people that's not good either okay um no because i did i added a day just to give you just to pressure you more <laughs> and the actual time is wednesday is wednesday at 10 in the morning ah smart 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 yeah that's good for like for you to do i think that's a good idea because you never know you know well if you barely get it done, like, i just i just know you don't have much time and you know this is a big thing and uh i'm always scope creeping on you a little here um true so why, okay, so why don't you focus, get done what you can, and then send me what you got, like today, and let's, I want to take a look, but, but what about the, uh, the load button? The load button? The, well, add a file or. Oh, an upload. An upload. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, that definitely needs to be there. What's your resistance? Um, well, does it really need to be there? For definitely, because I, for me personally, I like for the maps. I want a place to be able to bring the maps in, and pictures or videos, like those, like 
Right. But do you want all the member, all the people in the chat room to be able to do that or just the facilitator? Um, no, I think everybody. Really? Yeah. No, it's, it's a stream. Like people going to, you know, at some point people might add this and then add this. And so it's, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, I will put it back on my agenda then. <laughs> it, it's a must. Yeah. And then you said there was a way that we could have 14 people because there's two other people. Oh, yeah. So my idea was like in the bottom right, Sophie here, whoever ends up here will just be replaced by a plus three. Is there, but it looks like on my screen, it looks like there'd be, could, there could be room for two more. One uh, on the side. Yeah, but if you change to a different screen size, like I'm trying to make it so that it'll work on all those screen sizes. So okay. the, the minimum view is here. <laughs> you'll see yeah there's no there's no more space left for the other people okay so yeah so what happened like this it'd be plus th what you touch that there'd be three people there kind of thing um yeah i don't know like for <laughs> now there is there's you can't actually click on these or do anything all it just so you can see their name better i did that right um maybe down the road we'll have you know you can click on Oliver olivier and, and send him a private message or something i don't know but for now they're just it's just yeah, it'll just like blink or something when they send a message and otherwise it's just like, hey, they're here. And if they're not here, they'll be they'll be like grayed out is the idea. Okay. Did can you do that? The graying out thing? How yeah. about how how do they get invited? Like from the facilitator screen, there's an invitation. Yeah, so that's that's the biggest part I have to make right now is the all the facilitator backend setup stuff. Right. So the idea is that yeah, um, so my, my full idea here is that, or okay, for just for our test, my idea for now is that um, there'll be a login page um, where they'll just, because we don't have these 12 people's emails. Do you want me to get them to you? Can, if, can you get them by tomorrow? I'll, I'll try, I think I can. Okay, well, yeah, then that's better because then they can, I can just send them, you know, a temporary password they can change their password if they want. They already have a login. So yeah, at this point, they'll just log in. And then, I don't know, are you going to be the facilitator for the first one? Yeah. So you, okay, so you'll test the facilitator setup thing. Yeah. You'll do you, pick. Do you need the names of the other two people? Yeah, their name and I guess their picture, just in case, if you can get it. Yeah, I can get the picture for one, but maybe not the second. But uh, okay, I'll send that with the emails. With the email. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And ultimately, um, I guess you, you need to talk to their team and decide who's going to be their, their master people for the whole thing and then yeah. give them special. That would be Olivier. Yeah. Okay. And, hey, then I he, and then he'll just invite the facilitators for each group to be a facilitator. And then those facilitators will go and they'll they'll have to sit there and set up all 12 people for the, each of their groups. Yeah. But that's fine. I mean, they have to do stuff anyway. And that way, it, yeah, just spider webs out and we got all 144 people or whatever it is. But you know what? If we could then remember our first chat room. <clears throat> with the, the first chat the room? With all the multiple chats, what would be nice is to then have each of those you need a place where you can go and watch all the chats. Um, well, I mean, A, I don't have time to do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but there's lots of different ways we could do that. Like, for instance, I mean, I could actually set it up so that they could watch the chat live after it happened, and it would just you know, because I have all the, the messages and the times that are sent saved and you could just sit here and watch people talk yeah. as it actually did happen that way. Um, or yeah. the other thing is they could see the save as thing so they could read it later. Yeah. But you want to watch, you want people to be able to like observe the chats without being members. Yeah. Well, not, not necessarily, I mean, maybe, or other people, like it'd be, it'd be neat for me to, to just observe the chats of other groups. 
Yeah. You know, like that's where you get your cross learning. That's where you really um, see what they're talking about, see how they're talking kind of thing. And as well, a yeah, facilitator. And, and for, for the Lissiel team, that would be probably pretty good for them too. They'd be able to see what's going on in all the groups. For sure. Yeah. Um, the big, yeah, the big... Can definitely build out. Because, yeah, uh, do you, did you have a sense of how long um, until the next section or whatever? Like, when when will this actually start being implemented by the groups? Well, it's three. How many weeks have we got? Uh, it's three months. First three months, second three months, last three months. So. Oh, so we got like another month at least then. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, we can definitely have all that kind of stuff built by then. No problem. Okay. Yeah, we can just, you know, go, go at the pace you can, but. If you can get that uh, facilitator thing done, um, what, like in five hours or so? Yeah, I will be, yeah, I'll send you a message in f four hours and 52 minutes or before. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll have a, an update by then. I'll work until then kind of thing. Um, but yeah, if I, if I hit a question mark, I'll, I'll contact you before that. But Okay. Or if I get finished before that, for sure. Okay, and I'll send you the emails or go collect them. Okay. Um, so is that it then for now? Um, thank you, Luke. Did you see the screens I sent you that were sort of like my version of the facilitator back end? Um, no. Check, check your Facebook messages. I think I sent um, you some uh, screens. Did you email it to me or? Oh yes, sorry. No, I did get those on Facebook. Yeah, they were the drawn the drawings. Yeah. Diagrams. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they help. I mean, they were just kind of like my first go of of ordering it in the background. Yeah. Um, yeah, they might help. I'm basically going to mock something up too. And then once we use it this first time, you know, we'll change it around if it makes sense. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'll talk to you in five, four hours, five hours. All right. All right. And I did send you the game of planets guide. Okay. All right. Great to see you. And uh, we shall see each other soon. All right.